Welcome to another episode of Gussied Up. Today we are gonna make homemade caramel sauce. It's easy, it's delicious, it goes good on literally everything, especially ice cream and it's hot outside and I could really use a caramel sundae. Today we're making caramel using the dry method, which is dry sugar into a pan. The wet method, you add water to it and then you like cook off the water and then you caramelize it. But this, I think is the easiest way to make it. It's the quickest, it's the easiest. There's like literally two steps and three ingredients. Whenever you're making caramel sauce, the, the easiest thing to remember is that it's equal parts sugar to cream. One cup of granulated sugar for every one cup of cream. You'll start to smell the sugar cooking and you're looking for the sugar to turn into a liquid, right? So sugar is dried out, but as it melts, it becomes liquid. Never touch it, it's so hot. See how it starts to caramelize? Oh yeah. It goes fast once it starts caramelizing, right? So just give it a little stir so that parts don't burn while other parts are caramelizing. Oh yes. It is so hot, you guys. You have to be very, very careful. Okay, see that color? Know that you're getting ready to put in double the amount of cream so it's gonna lighten up. I like to take my caramel right to the edge of being burnt. Right, because that's how you get the most caramel flavor. Turn off the heat, and then you're gonna fast pour in and stir your caramel sauce. Stir, it's so hot you have to be careful, okay? Stir, stir it in. And what might happen, as you'll see, is like your caramel, the sugar, if your cream is too cold, it might seize up, right? It might make it cool back down, but that's not a problem. You just keep stirring and it'll melt back out. Like that's the worst thing that can happen in this method is that your caramel sauce seizes up, but that's not even an issue. You just literally melt that sugar and caramel back down. So this is a great problem, right? Like this is where people are like, oh no, I don't know how to make caramel. I ruined it. It's not ruined. Turn your heat back on and you melt down your caramel sauce. That's gonna happen if your cream is too cold. So either warm up your cream or you just melt this back down. Very easy, not a problem. Look at that, hello princess. It just melts back down, easy peasy. See, look, it melts all the way, nice and smooth. Now, add in a pinch of salt. I like to use a sea salt. I like it real salty, so a couple of pinches. And now let this baby cool because this is still scalding hot. And we can make a sundae. Little bit of ice cream. Still warm, but not scalding caramel. That's what I've been using my punch cups for lately. How often am I making punch? Not all that often. How often am I making sundae? Pretty often. Whipped cream, nuts, cherry on top, caramel sundae. Don't mind if I do. Look at that caramel. That salted caramel, salty peanut, vanilla ice cream, it just doesn't get better than that. It's so classic, it's so old fashioned, but with a little bit of extra salt and making it from scratch really transforms it. It's a work of art. I need just a little bit more. Look at it. I love it when the caramel sauce is still hot. So it's like a hot fudge sundae, but with caramel. You all, thank you so much for watching. I've got ice cream to eat and you've got comments to leave me below, letting me know what you want me to make on the next Gussied Up, where we transform old-fashioned recipes into new-fashioned favorites. Oh my God, it's so good. Throw a little bourbon in here. Okay. Yeah, the peanuts are great too. Mmm.